Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of the PAX Pokemon League podcast for PAX Australia 2015. Here we are, welcome to my guests. Um, oh dear, they appear to be plush. This isn't good, this is a very bad sign. <laughs> <laughs> I couldn't hold it. <laughs> <laughs> you should be able to hold it longest, you're a substitute. That yeah, is seriously true. creepy. <laughs> there we go. There that. Guy. Replace it. Yeah, make it creepier. <laughs> Do it. Make it creepier. <laughs> All right, everyone watching now has no soul. Excellent. <laughs> so, let's go around the screen to... I'm not sure how this actually goes away. It's that way. So you're to my right, or at least my right. I'm not sure how it's going to turn out. Yeah, whatever. Is a new yep. leader. Uh, some of you may have actually seen him kicking about uh, PAX last year. Mr. Dolphin Squared. Yep. Nice to meet you, everyone. Um, I need to do. I need to get onto my usual uh, great thing. Oh, do hey, it! Yeah, Go for it, gentlemen, boys and girls. This is Dolphin Squared here. Perfect. <laughs> Gotta love having YouTubers around. <laughs> All right, and to really? my I'm that way. On this well, yeah. To my that way, we have the one, the only Snowy Alice. If we're doing greetings like we do on YouTube, I will just be like, hi, internet! Yes. <laughs> and that's how I greet. Yep. Yeah, I keep awesome. forgetting you do YouTube stuff as well. I do do the YouTube stuff. You do do the YouTube stuff. This is actually my only YouTube stuff. So it doesn't work. <laughs> and the person over there, on the kind of the diagonal that way, you can't see because, you know, webcam shenanigans. I'm blind. We're blind. I'm blind. Let me I don't touch know your face first. Anything, so I'm just going to scream oh. everywhere. He got cut up by a convention. Uh, some flashbanger who has light from her mouth slashed his eyes, and now he's. <laughs> I don't know. That's kind of messed up, dude. <laughs> no, no, no. But there goes pretty intense. Oh, yes. <laughs> On the plus oh, side, though, he gets to walk around wearing blindfold all day, and it looks awesome. <laughs> That's it. I have a I have a piece of cloth over my eyes all the time. But the the downside is that I have to put my hands on everyone's face when I'm talking to them. Yeah, that's kind of creepy. I'm, I'm very <laughs> he, he, he I'm very used to do dead that before that he was way. blind though. Yeah. Which one? You used to do that before you were blind though. You used to just. I do that all face. the time. That's yeah. It's, it is unrelated from the blindness. That's true. But it's worth it's worth mention. If you get close to me within arm's reach, you may find he's very hands, easy. Very, very handsy. I'm, I'm a handsy guy. Oh, I have busy wow. hands. <laughs> Jesus, true. that you might want to stop talking now. Yeah, let's and just I'm cut Phil. It out. I'm Phil, wow. by the way. I'm Phil. That Thank is you. Phil. The, Thank uh, you for the introduction, the people. Ball. The leader of the uh, PAX Pokemon League Australia, assuming you know propriety doesn't fire him in the next ten minutes. He may. I may. Be, I think I just got an it's... SMS. I'm sorry, guys. I'm out. The right. big glorious beard has descended from the sky and has smote him. <laughs> Squashed me. <laughs> That's okay. I think you're saying, I think last thing is still in Italy. I don't know. Anyway, we are here to talk <laughs> PAX and Pokemon and PAX Pokemon. Woo! But mm. this week, uh, once again, we are going to talk more PAX and Pokemon. Mm. Yep. Mm. So it's a good time with uh, PAX very, very quickly approaching to talk PAX survival and just con survival in general. And we're actually fortunate enough to have someone who is very well versed in that area right down here. Hi. Mm. Yeah, so I've been to a, my fair share of conventions, so I, I've kind of like over the last few years kind of like figured out and narrowed down what exactly you need to bring. Yes. So, mm -hmm. so I let's figured... just uh, start right off at the top, I guess. Pick your best. Where you want to start? First thing that's super, super important comfortable shoes. Mm. Unbelievably easy. Preach yes. it, sister. Oh, heck yeah. Heck yeah. You. You'll be standing in line for, to see a panel, to see a guest, see, like, whatever, or even just, like, walking around, or even lining up to get in the damn place. You want to be in a pair of shoes that you can stand in for even hours at a time. It's ridiculous. Days at a time. Mm. It yeah, feels so like days. Always bring Unless... comfortable shoes. If you're cosplaying, maybe bring a spare pair of shoes so you don't always have to be in those ridiculously high-heeled shoes. The whole day. Because trust me, those are not comfortable. <laughs> no. So um, I made that mistake actually the first year, uh, PAX 2013. 
Uh, I showed up and I just bought brand new shoes, brand new runners to go, two packs. Wear your shoes in. That you got to wear them in. And, oh, didn't I know it yep. by the end of, well, even by lunchtime, day one. Oh, my feet. I still actually got those shoes and I'll probably still be wearing them this year at PAX as well. And they are now very nice. They're soft. They're not very pretty because they're kind of rugged and worn, but they're the most comfortable pair of shoes you can hope to meet now. Uh, yeah. Absolutely. Random tangent about shoes. You are... Yeah. <laughs> My bad. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, yes. I think going on from shoes, like staying in the clothing region, if you're <laughs> cosplaying, mm. um, in Melbourne, our weather is really erratic. It like, is... the whole this whole week has been kind of cold, but this weekend's been beautifully warm. It is and known it's as only the, September. Uh... Yeah, it is the city we, of four seasons in one day. Uh, we call it bipolar weather here. <laughs> it's really bad. <laughs> um, so last year was... Well, if there's the, anything, it's probably because there's a river right next to the convention. So it's you're going to expect a lot of sea water corners. No, river water corners, if you want to say that. We, so last year, our first day was really, really warm. Mm-hmm. Um, but then when yep. you got to Saturday, Sunday, it cooled down. So for cosplayers or anyone general, everyone in Melbourne always brings a jacket with them. Like they always have a jacket on them, no matter how warm it's going to be. They have a jacket because it can, even if it rains, it will just, it will happen instantly and it will get cold. Yep. So today it was really nice today, but I still brought a jacket because it ended up getting kind of cold in the wind. Yeah, we saw so much of that last year where you had day one people in heavy cosplay and they were just melting. They were dying. They were dying. But then come Saturday morning and you had the people in the light cosplay and they were all standing around shivering. (laughs) Because none of the... Well, (laughs) barely any of them bought jackets or anything or alternate clothes. So for cosplayers also, suggested it is bring a spare pair of clothes because you're not necessarily... PAX goes on for a long time. It's one of the longest conventions that I'm go to, I've been to. Like, it opens yep. early in the morning and then goes into, like, some ridiculous hour at night. Because yep. yep. they've got panels and, like, music going on. So much stuff to do. So if you're cosplaying, I suggest bring a spare pair of clothes. If you, It will take you a bit to get back to your hotel to get changed to come back. Mm-hmm. Like, bring, your, bring yourself a backpack, put spare clothes in there, just... Chuck a pair of jeans and a t-shirt in, a pair of comfy, sh- comfy shoes. Have that with you because God knows it's going to take you. You're going to be like, I'm sick of wearing this foam armor the whole day. I yeah. want to wear like normal clothes. Yes, facilities I are provided at that because, if you, you yeah. want to change, by the way. Yeah. I um, didn't have to double that because I, I was wearing, even if I'm wearing like cosplay, I had to walk all the way back because my hotel was all the way up to the other end of the city. So, yeah. mm-hmm. um, I've gone to conventions. Okay. So and unless you're don't... wearing like big, um, yeah, yeah, I've gone oh, to conventions. Unless you're wearing big armor kind of clothing, uh, big armor cosplay or heavy equipment, you probably want to put it somewhere. You right, unless you're driving, um, you probably need to. Put it aside, otherwise you will not be able to wear it, like, maybe day two, day three, and so on and so forth. Um, like, I've been to conventions, and I actually, these days, don't tend, I will always pack myself spare clothes. Um, like, I go, I will go and cosplay, I either, like, turn up, not in my cosplay and get changed there, or I will turn up in cosplay and... I will have myself a t-shirt and like shorts or something to get changed into because it get it's not comfortable to wear especially like if you're wearing a corset or something please look after yourself maybe not wear it the whole day <laughs> that's true yeah. really good advice yeah <laughs> so just so a quick apology guys uh, we're actually having just a few little minor technical difficulties we've actually got uh, dolphin joining us from singapore uh, so we've got yep. a bit of a delay in there. So if people start talking over each other, that's kind of what that is. <laughs> we'll just shake, fi- shake fist at Phil. <laughs> yes, it's 
that guy's that's fault. Why, that's it's why I always fault. raise my hands Wait. while talking. <laughs> that's it. Phil, you can't. Sorry about works, that, Phil. Works in class, works that. on podcast. Oh, no. It does, it does, except for <laughs> Phil. So, uh, moving away from clothes, I guess, there is uh, one big golden rule that I found you should always... Uh, observe at cons and particularly at packs the, the one of the longer ones and that is hydrate absolutely and snack eat eat yeah, all the time the so suggestion don't buy like whatever water they have there they'll have like a five dollar bottle bring oh, your yeah, own delicious. drink bottle it's delicious water but it's five dollars <laughs> bring your own it's drink bottle delicious fill it up with water before you leave mineralize water anyway. you can fill <laughs> it up Sure, you can go to the bathroom and fill it up. Hey, Pretty hang sure on. The... But when you're in the bathroom filling it up, try and use like the sink. Yes. Or like a tap. Uh, yeah, yeah, it's don't. Primarily, don't those are the two good areas to get the water from. <laughs> Bill, have are you we, been filling it up really with the again? Toilet I really hope not. What? Oh. What's going on? Why? Why? <laughs> so, bring your own bottle. Like, buy yourself a drink bottle. Fill it up with water. Um, yep. and have that because it will be way cheaper for you in the end and you have a nice drink bottle to have. One thing that really annoyed me actually at PAX last year, if you looked at the vending machines around the place, they were full of Red Bull. Mm. Oh, yeah. You do oh, yeah. not, do not want to drink Red Bull. Don't hydrate yourself with water, guys, not soft yeah, what drink. Is it? What, is it with, what is it with venues thinking that all nerds want to drink is Red Bull and That was probably Powerade. some sort of corporate agreement thing because Red Bull had that mm. ridiculous, mm. you know, dubstep Jeep thing as well. Oh, yeah, they so, did. I'd, I'd have one Red Bull maybe instead of a coffee in the morning. Probably not instead of a coffee, but... They do do if, nice coffee there was, at least. If there was no coffee, yeah, they do delicious coffee. Mm. But definitely not like... Anyway, yeah. just do yeah. right into... Are you okay there, Phil? Lunch done. Everything is breaking. I'm all right. We're breaking up, Captain. Yeah. I'm the Captain. Oh, whoopsie. That's... So, snacks, bring snacks, and suggestion on packs, because packs is right in the city, you don't necessarily have to buy your lunch in the convention. There's actually, you just go over to the DFO, which is not a very far walk. They've got a food court. Mm -hmm. You've got like a Mad Ma Max. You've got all kinds of food places there go buy your food elsewhere or you can go just across the road to crown and they've got a food court there yeah because the yeah. prices will be a lot cheaper if you don't big, go there and you're right big, in the city yeah big difference over the 2013 packs is that there there's no actual food. food within walking distance right although the 2013 packs did have a coles right nearby i remember it did. and that bakery the, that, I yeah. didn't realize and that. they had a fish and that? chip they had a fish and I chip was... shop on that corner as well but yeah, yeah so but since where the PAX location is, because it's so it's in the city, you have choices. So don't necessarily because it's right there, go there. You can leave and come back. Yeah, that's like what... you can leave the convention, come back. Yeah, it's fine. That's what this is for. Uh, that's yeah, fine. yeah, that's, that's what that is is for. <laughs> you can leave and come back. So don't don't think that you're stuck in that building for the whole day. You can leave and go somewhere else. Yeah, and come back. It will be fine. Just like figure out where you need need to be yeah give yourself time to go have lunch it's always a good idea i've got to say uh and it's a a sentiment i've seen reflected quite a lot of places is that the actual food provided by the venue itself by jeff shed the coffee was great the food itself was yep. very very substandard I've especially for what you paid for been it. there had the stuff a few times and it's pretty me yeah yeah the, it, okay, it's it's the usual that. chips yeah. and whatever fare so it's not nice stuff. It's not like healthy stuff. And quite a lot of it's been sitting in the hot box for a, a half yeah. an hour or so, and it's getting a bit. Ugh. This may okay. be a bit unnecessary, but based on experience of uh, PAX Australia last year, I don't know where the stores are, and I okay. Well, the only thing I know is McDonald's, but that's about it. Let me see <laughs> if I can do no this from memory. Stores, I uh, I don't make, have... sure, make sure you know where you. Want to go? Uh, okay. w which store you want to? Uh, yeah. Which uh, food? Food. <laughs> From memory, uh, you if you go yeah. out, you've got the uh, the kind of the area with all the the panels in it, the the uh, the theaters. You follow that around. There's yeah. a door kind of around the back. Uh, you go out that, hang a left, follow the wall, down a set of stairs. You're in the food court. 
Yeah, that, which is there, what I, I have not. It, yeah, it's there's. Not. It's a quite. It's a little bit. The DFO is kind of like there's the hotel between yeah. the convention center and the DFO. But Absolutely. once you get yeah. to the DFO, you go down. So otherwise, yeah. go across the street to Crown. Yes. And then you go up. There's a set of escalators. You go up, go right, and you just keep walking straight. And you'll end up in the food court, and there's a few different things in there. So and they've got that crazy big arcade in there too. They do. That's downstairs. Really? Yes. Yeah, it's pretty yeah. cool. Galactic Plaza or something like that. Galactic, Galactic something. Circus. Galactic Circus. I'm there we are. I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure that it is. I, I absolutely have... have to check that out. There. Mm. Galactic Circus is what you're referring to. Yes. I have a card. I did not get a chance to check that out last year. I've got to rectify that this year. It's cool. It's cool. They've got uh, laser tag and bowling. Oh, nice. Oh, I went to an nice. after party there, nice. so that's why I know. <laughs> nice. Um, All right. So we should probably go on to our next item. And I think the next thing I've got on my list is... Is these little bad boys. Yep. What is that? Or... What? So, power. Oh, that's right. Charger. That's right. Now, at the Hound Hound Lounge, we are going to have... Adapters. There are points you can charge your 3DS for the Pokemon League. But That's right. last year, uh, the boxes they actually had, the you could only put one of the uh, the, the the DS charges on at a time because that would. I would grab mine, but it's on the floor. Yeah, Just mine's yeah. plugged in. My um, actual 3DS is. You've got the so extra wide, the extra wide charges. I think we had a couple guys last year bring. Power, power, what are they called? Power, power boards. Power, power boards, yeah, just to yeah. fit a few extras on. Yep. Um, um, just, I'll be bringing uh, my battery pack. Yeah, I Not think just, there's uh, some things you've got to check out with power boards, yeah. but yeah, if you can. Yeah. Um, I'm planning to be buying myself one of those little ch- rechargeable battery things that you can plug all your devices into. <laughs> I'll, uh, that has frozen the one that Furnace is right showing us. It'll be um, something like this one right here. Yeah, and mine's bigger. You can easily the actual. Up. Hang on, hang on, hang on. What, what, how many milliamp hours you got in that baby fern? Uh, hang on. Uh, capacity mm. is eleven thousand. Oh. Seven thousand. Wow, mine only has six thousand six hundred. But I'm essentially, a, yeah. I'm a ten thousand man. This, ten thousand four hundred. Uh, this one at full charge actually charges a 3ds four times. Wow. Um, and I actually yeah. used them all up. All four charges. Yeah. yeah. Between myself and challenges. Yeah. One of the things I well, did notice yeah. with the little the charging stands, they do have USB ports. Mm. So if maybe you maybe invest in buying for your three D S a USB um cable so you can charge with. I'm actually gonna buy one of those for my three D S. Um Absolutely. and this is not just for your Handheld gaming devices, it's like this is good no- things for like your phone, maybe your iPod, tablet, whatever you, you like will have in the day. I'm going to be taking my tablet with me to like have my schedule on it and have like the booklet and stuff. Mm-hmm. So bring like definitely bring your cables. That's main thing is bring your cables. Know what you will need. Yes. Uh... Yeah. Uh, like others, I am also going to be teched up when I walk into PAX. So I'm going to have a tablet. I'm going to have my phone. I'm going to have my 3DS. Uh, uh, I'll be covered in computers. Yes. And I do have to point out, actually, um, if you, if everyone in the Hangout Lounge bring their own power bars and plug into that, it's not really recommended because no. they can they can overload the circuits. Yes. Really. Yeah. You will well, not want to do that and inconvenience everyone. So, to, to be fair, best though, just get yeah. your own. Um, if you can't get invest in these guys, invest in these guys. Or if you really can't, um, well, at Those least try to bring are... these one or two cables. Mm. Yeah. Those things are cheap, though. I, I'm going to buy one. I've seen yep. them for about $10 online. So, yep. they're cheap. They're good investments for any. For the future, they're yeah. good for anything. They, this one at least, actually, this is one of the bigger ones you can get, uh, which I invested on because I was pretty sure I'd need it for some challenges, which I did. But uh, this yeah. one will take from completely flat, I believe it's about two and a half hours to charge a 3DS. Uh, and it's really handy because what you can do in that case is plug your USB charger into it, 
you can stick the whole lot in your bag and go to a panel. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Or if you want, just fully charge everything you want to bring along. Yeah. Literally, before you go. Yeah, oh, always have your stuff charged, but... Yeah, always have your stuff charged, but if you can't... Like, if, for example, us challenges are going to have... Be on our 3DS constantly. I know that mine was ran out of power um, halfway through the day because yes. constant usage. Yeah. So, like, try and have your stuff charged at the thing, but, you know, there's always stuff like your stuff will die. Yes. That's yes. what happens. Yeah. Uh, if you're actually challenging the leaders at the time, don't be afraid to ask us if we have a spare charger. A lot of us will. So we don't mind you borrowing our charger to plug in and yeah. challenge. That, that's fine. As long as you don't wander off with it. Because we need those. In fact, yeah. In fact, um, talking about the 3DS, um, if I have to say... A 3D, my, my is the new 3DS XL, yes. and if I were to take it out for battles, I do go to uh, battles sometimes, and like about five or six battles later, it will, it may drop a bar, it may not, but it, you're literally talking about uh, you guys who battle about six, ten times, no matter how many times. Let's make sure that your 3DS is fully charged. It cannot, like, uh, fun say. Honestly, if there's anyone who has a secondary charger, if there's no uh, slots available on the handheld launch. Yep. I'm going to also, I have a spare battery for my 3DS, which is annoying because the time does change, but I will have mm. a spare battery. I'll actually endeavor yeah. to bring a spare 3DS. Oh, wow. Because I upgraded, <laughs> I upgraded to the new 3DS. My old one's fine. So it's a little bit yeah. battered because it's been well to PAX. So, yeah. But um, I should point out also, there are charging stations, kind of vending machine yeah. style charging stations around Jeff's shed. I don't believe they're big enough to take most tablets, but they'll take a phone. Uh, no problem. You plug it in, you stick it in there. It'll lock itself in That's a little right. tablet uh, until it's charged. You just come back later. Yeah. Also, the N Nintendo handheld sponsorship last year included charges like they had a bunch of cords as well yeah yep um as well as the enforcers having a few uh, of their own along with a few empty uh power holes for, yep. for people's own charges yep. so i think i had my own cable and i had my own 10,000 milliamp hour battery um which i wasn't afraid to share i think mm -hmm. i got through basically usually a whole day probably half a day and then the second half i probably was soaking on my own battery but then because it's so big it's um it's like yeah. an oxygen tank if you're scuba diving <laughs> it's like you got plenty but only one person can have it at a time as long as you've got enough to breathe you're all right yeah yeah yeah, yeah. all right so, so yes power 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 make sure you got it uh, people get upset if you try and plug into random booths um so i think <laughs> my true. next point on my list was this moolah so yeah you, everyone has their own these days seems to have their own like card which you can pay for your stuff but i know i'm like phil who's trying to go like cashless this year <laughs> at conventions it's always a good idea to have like physical money mm -hmm. there is a lot of um maybe not so much of packs but especially at smaller conventions that have a lot more like artist kind of stuff, like yeah. little artist alleys. You can't, you will not be, most places, you will not be able to pay with your card. You only cash. Yep. And Absolutely. it's always a good idea. Have cash on you. So, just in know, case. Have like a 50 on you just, just in case, in case you see something bugged. that's really cool. You've got something to give mm. the guy. I'll have a ton of 10 and $20 in just in case because not everyone do have change for. Ten fifty dollar purchases of like yeah. five dollar. So, even least, if yeah. uh, you hang on to that fifty, a fifty dollar annual wallet is always a good idea. Especially mm. if, say, for example, you need to get back to your hotel in a hurry. Taxis. I'm going to tell you from experience. Taxis add eleven percent surcharge mm. uh, to card transactions. So it always, is not yeah. cheap. <laughs> this year, uh, try an Uber, Fern. <laughs> no, 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 no! Don't encourage oh, no. Uber. No, no. Leave it alone. <laughs> but bring, bring cash, because the other thing is, cash actually ends up faster usually. Yes. This is, talking from experience, I work in the retail sector, 
and it is actually quicker. Cash, it might not seem, it might not seem it, but cash is actually quicker, a quicker way because you can, especially if you got the correct change, you just hand it over and go. You have the purchase and yeah. you're gone. So like it's a little bit easier, and you don't have that issue of I can't remember what my car is or my card's been declined. You've got the cash here. Mm-hmm. And you know exactly how much you're going to spend. One more like, thing. how much you've got to yep. spend. One more thing is try and avoid using ATMs at the site. Make sure you've got your cash before you come down to the convention yes. site. Those lines yes. at the ATMs are murder. Absolutely. Luckily, for packs, they do actually have, like, bank-specific ones rather than a big general one. So they do have, like, Commonwealth, mm. ANZ, whatever the other ones are. Yes. They do yeah. have them. So you will... The good thing is you're not going to get the... If you do use them, they don't have the fees. Like $2, can, $2.50 usually. Your, your, your card fees. Yeah. Because you have your actual specific ones. But those lines do get very massive because they're in the main hall. So It could be yeah. worse. You remember what it was like in 2013? They had yeah. one ATM on was site. really bad. Yeah. One <laughs> ATM oh. for everyone. And, oh... Do not... Oh, <laughs> yes, if you so, want to save money getting back to your hotel, be an... Be a trainer, literally. Just walk. Yeah, that's yeah. It. Put on your just put on your running shoes. If you're and talking hold about down also, B. <laughs> this is a few actual talking about transport. There's a few things. The convention center is technically outside of what is now the free tram zone. So Melbourne has a now has a free tram zone where you don't have to pay mm-hmm. to do it. But the convention center is actually outside of it. Is that about? It's actually one stop just outside of yeah. the yeah. thing. So just get off in the free tram zone and just walk across the bridge. It's not that far. Yeah, so, just, um... But remind everyone, buy, get yourself, if you're from interstate or you're not even from Melbourne, buy yourself one of these. Um, I will find one that's actually got, you can see the front, your little there Mikey. You it will be your best friend. Um, very chargeable, I think... For a full one, it's about six bucks. You can keep these forever. Come back next year mm-hmm. with your um, if you might be. I will point out actually, if you're staying at a hotel, uh, or even if you're coming in via the airport, have a talk to the reception counters. Mm-hmm. Uh, a lot of hotels have this little uh, starter pack, which has got the Mikey with uh, enough credit on it to get you around for a day. Uh, a map yeah. of various uh, various Black stops. Arcs. <laughs> yeah, and uh, uh, a little wallet to keep it in. Yeah, so definitely, like, get a Mikey, because also, if you're in Melbourne, if you're, you're coming down to Melbourne especially for this, maybe you want to go do some sightseeing, go down to St Kilda, you will need your Mikey to be able to travel anywhere. So yes. definitely invest in one of those. Um, it's pretty cheap, actually. Um, traveling around for an adult is about three yeah. bucks for, to go from, like, one end of the city to the other, so it's pretty cheap. And then it's capped in the, on the weekends. So definitely invest in yourself in buying one of these little guys to, um, if you're in the city. And if you're in the city, learn where the um, free tram is and where it stops. Yep. The free tram that, is actually something new that was not there last very, year. It's brand new. Um, it's actually really confusing mm-hmm. for people who don't know <laughs> it about where it stops. Do they have the uh, the station signed uh, as they saying do they're say in the... it's, it? Do, it does say no. They do actually say the free, free trams do actually say what is with, which what isn't in is and isn't. But the best yeah. bet is anything south of the river is not part is not free. Good rule of thumb. So hmm. try and um, the convention center. I know that there's a tram stop just not off of the river, and it's just over the bridge. That's free. So. Yeah, yeah. Uh, it's learn, at the learn train the station, isn't is. it? Uh, no, it's underneath the tram uh, train tracks. Oh, okay, it's, that's a bit further up then, yeah. Yeah. Because I remember last year I kind of came in at that train station and walked down. Yeah, no, no, it's further. It's a little bit down. From yeah. There. Yeah. Okay. So otherwise, everyone walks, everyone be, walks yeah. in from Southern Cross. Otherwise, <laughs> you will just follow the throng of people. It's easy. Yeah. Um. Essentially, so, is try to be street smart and don't cross the river because once you cross the river and you don't have a cart, whoopsie daisy, you can't, you have to pay for the full fare. And the 
the ticket and offices are ruthless. Mm. Trust me. So yep. they're very um, ruthless. So make sure you have your have a Mikey, um, or just learn where the stuff is. Um, yeah. So that was my Mikey rant. Okay. <laughs> what else? Was fun was I had a little tiny one. Bring yourself a camera, whether it's on your phone or you bring ni- like your nice DSLR. Bring yourself a camera. Yes. Because um, God knows you're going to be like, see this ca- cosplayer that's really, really cool. And you're going to be like, I want to take a photo of that. And yeah, most phones these days have cameras yeah. on them, but you're going to be like, oh no, I can't take a photo of this. So. Remember to bring a camera and also make sure there's space on yes. it. One thing um, actually that just reminds me very quickly. Uh, when you are going to go take photos oh of a cosplayer, that's the other one. ask. Ask. Just yeah, ask. Sorry. Most of them will say yes. But having people just randomly run up so and take photos of you like is extremely creepy. So especially <laughs> if someone else... Unless is you're a little photo. kid running after a little foxy <laughs> cosplay <laughs> and... Um, um, if someone is taking a photo of another cosplayer and they're posing, don't just yeah. take the photo. Go up and be like, can I take a photo also? Mm. You look re- like, also, it's nice if you preference with, you look really cool, can I take a photo of your cosplay? Yes. Like, it's a good way to start it off, like, not yep. just, can I take a photo? Start off, be like, it, your cosplay is really cool, or, oh my god, I love that, can I take a photo? They will say yes. This is cosplay photo good, etiquette. Yeah. So bring camera. Also, there are actually guests at PAX. So bring yourself, bring yeah. camera because you might want to get a photo with them. Mm-hmm. Um, take photos. Take photos of you having fun with your friends there. Take photos of everything. Because trust me, you're going to want to take photos. So bring yourself a camera. No matter if it's just like your phone, shitty phone camera or some like expensive camera. <laughs> bring yourself a camera. <laughs> Yes. Oh, a 3DS camera. <laughs> That's it. I have a friend who takes selfies on his 3DS camera. Take some 3D <laughs> pictures, share them with your That's friends. It. But I think it's also really important to note that if there is like about 10 people other than you trying to take a single person's cosplay photo, be patient, really. Yes. If it pays to be patient. And especially since um, there might be some videographers around as well who does mm. like videos for cosplay. Be pa- and essentially, the whole thing is just be patient, wait for your turn, and you will get what you want. Yep. Yep. Oh, that's my camera thing. I think we've already touched on, remember to bring your like... 3DS or PSP or your Game Boy or whatever. Well, what? make sure it's a 3DS. Hang you on. can't challenge the league if you don't bring a 3DS. Yeah. What was that? I'm what was that, that second one? PSP. <laughs> what? I'm Hang on, yes. I didn't hear that. Oh, it's, it's no longer a PSP. <laughs> that keeps it keeps breaking it's, up every time you say no something. I can't hear it properly. <laughs> he said um, 3DS, Game Boy, PSP. Virtual PSP. Boy. Game Boy Advance. Who brings a virtual Game Boy Boy SP? That's a home console. That's Game Boy Micro. That's a ridiculous red and black 3D thing. Unless you bring a cosplay of all the consoles of Nintendo, go ahead. Cosplay as a virtual boy, you will be hated. But it's actually just on a rule of thumb for the entire, not just PAX Pokemon League, not just a handheld launch, but also the entire uh, booth. If you want to bring your own equipment, just keep it safe with you. If you want to bring your own PC, keep it safe with you. Um, if they you want to bring your own uh, Nintendo Wii, just to play Mario Kart 8, or try to, I don't know, bring your, don't, I, I was about to say guns, but Splatoon no. isn't guns, but nah, nah. yeah, essentially bring your own um, equipment and make sure you take care of it. Yeah, definitely. But- yes. What I was saying with the handheld gaming device, yeah, I know, like, if you're, gonna, you, if you're gonna be challenging, you will have your 3DS, but if you've got, like, a PS Vita or something, or... What? Hang on. What was that other one? I didn't hear that. Shut up! Yeah, you're doing it on purpose. <laughs> um, if you've got, like, or even your mates, they don't play 3DS, they've got something else, bring it... Yeah. What would bring they it... have? What? Who are these people? 
If they, if you, if you know these people, you shouldn't be Dirty friends clips. with them. I say. Give them your game and watch. <laughs> yeah, okay. exactly. Give them your game, and watch. game and watch. Yeah, there you my go. My point <laughs> being, can I please finish my goddamn sorry, point? Sorry, sorry. Continue. Continue. Right. Um, um, if you're gonna be like lining up for a panel or something, and this applies to any convention, if you're gonna be lining up for a panel or something, bring yourself like your handheld gaming device because you're gonna be sitting there for a while, or there might be times where. You know, you're tired and you just want to like sit down and have a thing, but you're like bored. Bring yourself like a little, bring yourself your thing like that. Or every convention I bring it, and for the 3DS especially, the street that's why I bought a 3DS was for the street passing. PAX is a street pass oh, yeah. gold mine. Oh, yeah. <sighs> so, so, yeah, bring your, been for the last three bring your four three, years. Bring your, um, bring your handheld gaming device. I might actually bring my Game Boy this year. To like yeah. entertain myself between panels. Yeah. Sure, um, sure. So like, bring yourself something to play, uh, like something to play with whilst you think. Even like, I don't know, not even gaming, like electronic stuff. Bring yourself like a deck of cards or a book, just a book. Oh, oh yeah, or a book. That's yeah. right. You, you have your own. If you have your own cards, it's why I'm bringing it along yeah. because there's yeah. definitely someone who wants to play with you. Play with you, sure. but. The, the point being that there's going to be a time where you've got to sit and wait in line. It's going to be a long time. Bring something to entertain yourself during then because it's going to be... You'll be waiting for like an hour for stuff. So maybe bring yourself something. Something that's easily portable that doesn't take you like... It's not like Dungeons and Dragons that takes you a lot of stuff to <laughs> set up. Yeah. But something small. That's book good. is good. Although bring I would like to see... <laughs> it would be interesting to see spontaneous Dungeons and Dragons spread up in a queue somewhere. Oh, that'd be great. That would be awesome. I want magic. I know cards puzzles well. and dragons yeah. would be a thing, though. Puzzles and dragons Funny. is yeah. Yeah. I, I I won magic cards last year, um, during a car, during a line in a line from oh. uh, one of the enforcers. I don't yeah. even play magic cards. I just have the cards now. Yeah, spontaneous magic games are actually a very common thing. So yeah, like sure. the pa the enforcers will be there in lines to like try and entertain you as well. Like they've got stuff going on, but like bring yourself something to do. Because yeah, like yeah, it's like doing? there's lots of stuff to see, but there is a lot of waiting around. That's yes. How it works? Like you said, yeah. Do be friendly to one another as well if you want to do like those kind of spontaneous challenges. Because this isn't this isn't Pokemon. It doesn't mean that your our eyes match. It means that we get into a battle. For sure. Um, and just <laughs> Pokemon guys, bring other games because like there's yeah. other tournaments and stuff going on, like Smash Bros. I think there's even competitive oh, yeah. Animal Crossing. How do you make competitive way. Animal there Crossing? Last year, uh, but it's more so. Well, I would say it's more so the mini games in a sense. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And uh, but, I suppose uh, one final thing before we get two K away, because we're actually going to make this is going to be the longest episode yet. I should point out. I've yeah. got one more thing on my list and we're done. I do, too. And that would be these. Something to carry everything in. Something yeah, practical. that was what I was going to say. Yes. It's like yours is a lot cooler than mine. Mine is just a cheap <laughs> little bag for, I picked up maybe 10 bucks at Kmart and I actually carry this around my over bag my shoulder. Is this guy? Yeah, it's a substitute. That's fine. Um, but, uh, this is actually small enough. I had it slung over my shoulder and I barely even noticed it last year. Uh, it was actually tucked in under my lab coat which had huge handy pockets. I've um, I've spent a few years trying to figure out what the right bag is because I've brought handbags, I've brought backpacks. I did a tiny little backpack last year, and I've spent a while trying to figure out like what the best bag is. I just bought this one from the internet. Yeah, and the internet. I know, and it's a perfect. It's meant for like conventions and stuff. But it's a perfect little bag, and like okay. it's taken me a while to figure out exactly like thing. But you need a good bag that will fit. Everything we've mentioned before, like drink bottle, um, snacks. If you're gonna have a change of clothes, like bring a backpack to put that in because you will need something big. Absolutely, yes. But yeah. if you're don't need like a change of clothes, don't try and bring a bag that's big enough to fit your stuff, but not too big. Yeah. That makes sense. So like, if my I do have a size, recommendation, actually, if you want to bring a lot of cables, actually, go ahead and get your own um plastic. Bags or seals or whatever. Baggies. Let's make sure that they're actually not tangled inside because mm. sometimes the cables can actually be pulled apart. And I have cases where my cables stop functioning because it was pulled Ooh. apart. Yeah, I've had so many. Get 
get like a syllable or at least something that you can put your cables in, in yeah. a sense. Yeah. I so, mean, that's not just the only thing. You can obviously have a big bag if you are carrying a lot yes. of stuff. But, but yeah, organization the, is key in a way. The thing is, if you have a big bag, it's a lot harder to move around. That's yes. what I've learned is bring... Don't if you've got a lot of stuff, bring a big bag. But if you don't need to have a lot of stuff, don't bring a huge bag. Bring something that will fit your stuff. Yeah. Because also one... it'll be easier to keep your eye on on it, and you can be able to have all your stuff easily accessible in like right next to you. Yeah. Allow a little space yep. for things you might buy, like things like magic decks and stuff like that. Don't take up a whole uh, lot of space. Cards Against Humanity boxes are quite large. The bigger blacker box, yep. yes. Yeah. Uh, well, in... Even the normal size ones are like... They are, they're actually quite big. Hey, but, yeah, not only like that, even big. board games are pretty huge. They are. Board so... games, um, posters. Posters, yes. Yep. Um, if you actually know, for example, there are like booths that will be selling like merchandise and you know exactly what merchandise they're going to be selling and what you want. If you know yeah. you're going to buy a poster there, maybe bring a poster roll, yeah. like a cardboard tube to put the posters oh, in. Oh, yeah. It's always definitely a good idea central. to have a plan in place if you decide randomly on some you know, yeah. whim to buy something to deal with the large object. If you're driving there, just go downstairs, put it in your car, it's fine. Go back to your hotel, yeah. leave it there, things like that. Just, just have a plan. If the large object is large, maybe try and wait off until the end of the day. Like, if it's something you know that's not going to sell, mm -hmm. or there's multiple, of, just wait until the end of the day and then buy it so you don't have to, like, lug it around the whole day. Yes. Like that massive po portal gun you've got that you could have... <laughs> oh! <laughs> that's why yeah. I said the portal gun. That, yeah. Uh, that's actually one of the first edition ones, that one. One of the first ones. So, yeah, like, if you know, for example... I go to the Hattonby booth a lot. They have posters. I maybe, if I decide, like beforehand, I know what merch they've got. I might be like, okay, I'm gonna be buying a poster. I will bring myself a thing to like protect the poster because hmm. I have crushed many a poster in my time. Yeah. So, have them figure out like what you want. Um, some one of the cool things. I don't have one here, but there's tiny little roll-up uh, bags. Mm -hmm. Bring one of those. Yeah. Shove Probably it in should hand. actually point out that for those who are intent on becoming a, a Pokemon League champion this year, uh, there are some prizes that I'm not going to spoil what they are, but they may They're be big. fragile and big, big yeah, and yep. fragile. So just be forewarned as, on those. Yeah, not as um, big as a life size substitute, but mm. it's no. at least something you'll be able to carry along. I think something going to be about. The other thing is, for those who are competing, maybe have a place to put your badges. Well, we have not... these, but uh, what we found... But if you're shoving, like, yeah, you put them in your lanyard, because maybe shoving them in the bottom oh, of the bag yeah. is maybe not the best idea. No, no. Because, like, they've got pins at the bottom, and you shove, put your hand in, you get come back with a handful of, like, a... Pointy metal. ...hand full of pins mm -hmm. in you. So maybe figure out a way. The lanyards are really good. Mm -hmm. um, especially the ones you can buy at packs are really good because they're yep. perfect for like the yep. packs badges or the Pokemon League badges. But figure out a way how you're yep. going to display them. Bring your own scarf. Bring your own scarf. <laughs> Just not, our... not a green one. Not a green one. We've that got our logos on ours though. True. I should... And please do not ask me can yeah. I have one of the patches because I will probably say no. Because that will confuse everybody. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> they're our badges. Okay. All right. So I think, I think we've that's covered the end of my business. list. Yep. So yeah, comfortable clothes, water, snack, yeah, sufficient power and way to recharge, something cash. sensible to carry everything in, and of course, cash. Oh, and um, your three. If you're challenging, most important. 3DS and your team. Yep. Don't forget yeah, to Pokemon. And your and your game. Your A game. Bring it. Although I've got to say, I'm going to be here this year. In theory. <laughs> <laughs> I say that, but then I uh, completely destroyed Johan the other day uh, in a off-camera game between our PAX teams. Gotcha. Peep, there is a move that people will be cursing by the end of PAX. I will tell you that now, because I'm not the only Flame one who thrower? uses that move. No, not that move. You're okay, already cursing. You're move. the only one who does that. 
Right. Please well, use flamethrower. Uh, me, me and other people. He loves flamethrower. He loves flamethrower. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So let's. Uh, we're going to keep on blathering. So let us flick over to the battle. So today it is. Whoopsie! That is actually entirely the wrong window. Why do I keep doing that? There we go. Uh -oh. so, <laughs> so yeah, I actually go. got Bobble Peter up on the other screen. There you go. So. Uh, yeah. All right. So we have myself as Professor Fern, my team from last year, my Electros, my fabulous, fabulous Ampharos, and my Luxray versus. Mr. Dolphin Squared with a yeah. Politoed. I don't know why they gave me that trainer from, uh, I can't remember if it's Hoenn or Sino, but that, was, uh, that wasn't exactly my trainer from back then. Yeah, you got the Gen 2 trainer. Gen I, got two, no, Gen Gen five. I got a Gen 5 guy. Gen 5 had the Afro, didn't he? Uh, he has hair at the back, I think. Gen 4 is Afro is uh, Elder, if I'm not wrong. Anyway. Oh, I don't know I can watch this. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yes, you can just go into Pokemon Showdown and find us in the yep. the list. Under uh, Battle Spot, Spot Singles. Uh, unfortunately, I'm not using so the browser I'm obviously version, so on a it. disadvantage right now because I'm dealing with a Electric Week team right here. Yeah. But uh, things should be interesting. I did warn you I was bringing my team from last year. Oh dear, oh dear. So, let I can't say that I forgot about it, but, well, you, you kind of there did, we go. You? <laughs> <laughs> All right, Come on, so, nine let's get this going. I'll find you guys, this is... Yeah. <laughs> It'll be in there, we're under uh, yeah. Battlespot Singles. Are you at Anything Goes or not? Battlespot Singles. Uh, yeah, any, I think it's uh, Battlespot, yes, Battlespot Singles. Yes. Battlespot Triples, Triples... No, singles. I'm trying to look for it. <laughs> All right. Which are you two uh, guys? I have just hit my Pokemon and it. Oh, hang on. I have already chosen. Okay, this has uh, actually broken on us. So <laughs> let me is just it? throw it back. Yeah, it's uh, timed out. This is the longest we've ever let a, uh, a showdown battle just sit. Yep. I'm still in. Though. I could have told you that because you guys are not there on the list. No, so let okay. us. Uh, let me just uh, forfeit out of this. We're doing this on the fly and fixing everything. Uh, so okay. I will find you and I will just resend a, uh, a challenge. Alright. Uh, I will just set it to anything goes. So it makes it easier to find. movie magic to fix this. We are! I'm actually doing yep. stuff on the other screen and nobody can see. We can cut this no. out, right? For, yeah, that's we what I mean. Movie magic. We could cut it out. We could cut it out <laughs> if I could be bothered. <laughs> All right, there we go. <laughs> okay, let's try this again. I'll just make sure uh, that's going to be lined up properly. Yeah. Yeah, there we go. Okay. Cool. So you Are guys you look usernames like in this? Goes. I am the same as everywhere, Fenurian. Is this Anything Goes? Yeah. Yes. Yep, that's right. <laughs> uh, There's a reason why we tend to confine go. these episodes to about half an hour is because of this sort of nonsense. Found it. <laughs> okay, so I am let, watching. Us, let us try this again. Uh, so there's us begin. There we are. So Politoed versus old Gigawatt, the name that annoys everybody. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, and starting off with uh, the rain. Yep. Oh, That's you're just right. writing horrible things in the chat now, aren't you? <laughs> <laughs> the beauty is I don't think they'll be able to read it. <laughs> yeah. Oh, come on. So it's worth pointing I'm out that... I'm just abusing Phil um, in the chat. Yeah, it's actually worth pointing out that electric terrain stacks with other weather effects, as do other terrains. Yeah. Which actually the anime gets wrong, by the way. So, I'm going to do this now. Uh, your polytoad is, you know, just... It's, it's gone. Sorry. That's bye. true. That's true. Bop. Boop. <laughs> <laughs> uh, this is bad. This is... Oh no, oh, yeah. you've Try let look right now. you have let me set okay. up my Luxray. So until it falls over, you're doomed. Sorry, but you're you're just doomed. Uh, how fast forward. is it actually? Extremely fast. Oh, it's see. uh it's full IV speed. Yep. Yeah, it should be faster. Ha ha I win. Bop. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> But that, it dies to that, so... It, 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 it that. takes itself out. Sooner or later, it will take itself out. Yes, That's but Fern has two Pokemon left. Yes, I do. 
Oh, and it's Fabio! It is Fabio. The uh, the magnificent hair. Is he gonna mega evolve? Oh, silly question. You've got to have the fabulous hair. <laughs> Ooh, rock slide. Oh, guess what? My Ball switch! Ooh. Yeah. <laughs> I, I don't exactly have a chance unless I actually get a flinch right there. Yeah. But... So. Done. That was a bit uh, bit one sided, unfortunately. <laughs> 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 admittedly, admittedly. Yeah, super effective <laughs> against everything. At least, uh, what the heck? I can't write. Right. <laughs> it's fine. You guys who watch, you got an absolutely incredible battle last week with the uh, the Prime yeah. Special. Uh, if you haven't watched that battle, go and watch it. It actually comes down to a rule, uh, a PPL rule uh, decision as to who yeah. wins it. It is so good. So very good. Yeah. All right. So, Fabio, you are incredible. I love you, Fabio. <laughs> He's just sitting there majestically. It's what Amphros does. It's all Mega Amphros needs to do. Oh, yeah. I use it in Pikachu Cup. Heck yeah, it's pretty good. Mega Amphros Stunfisk, is so good. Stunfisk, though, is a whole other story. Stunfisk is kind of like the direct opposite of Mega Amphros. It is dumb looking, and it is just—it just kind of sits there. I say, I'm gonna look at the name. And survives an earthquake. I kid you not. Yes, it's ground type. It's ground and electric type. Four times weakness. Yeah. Uh. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. I have a stun fisk. I'm trying to find it because it's got a really funny name. I actually bought a stun fisk last year. I called it Turbo Derp. What <laughs> <laughs> gen is stun fisk? <laughs> it was a snore stun fisk. I used it in maybe one battle. I had a friend who came in with six stun fists versus six stun fists. Oh, wow. What gen <laughs> is stun fisk? Uh, generation five. Five, yeah. It's the muck fish Pokemon in a way. It is flat and it's it is actually exists in the uh, real world, yep. actually. Very much so, yes. I have a Stunfisk I got in a, uh, in a Wonder Trade called Stinkfish. Nice. <laughs> he sits oh there flat. Deary me. Deary me, deary me, deary me. Deary, Not the worst name me. I've gotten, so... No, no. Someone um... has bat breath. <laughs> it's got fish breath. Uh, so that's true. Some of the names I've gotten out of Wonder Trade, like, I cleaned up on Wonder Trade this last week. I'm not going to lie, because it was an incredible week. But... Some of the names that people will give to their pokes, it's... I save everything that's got a name. I keep every single thing that people have named. Do I have I get a lot handy? of... Let's see. You know what? I, you know what I would like to see in packs? Someone who has named all of... Because Five Nights at Freddy's is such a big thing on YouTube the past year. I want to see someone who came up with the name and with a five team nights. after Five Nights at Freddy's characters. And they would. They should have like matching stuff. So like, I don't know. Chicken oh, would yeah. be like. Blaziken. I don't know. Yeah, Blaziken. Uh, Blaziken or something. I was yeah. thinking Blaziken. You could do a Five Nights at Freddy team. It would work. And then yeah, <laughs> like someone That's should true. do a Five Nights at Freddy team. Here go. Things. Yeah. So yeah. Yeah. So uh, Del Fox as Foxy probably wouldn't work. Not pirating enough. No, no, it's it's pretty much a fox. It, no, actually, it's a fox, actually. A fennec fox, in fact. It is. Uh, a fox wizard, Del Fox is. I know Ursaring can be Freddy, but oh, yeah. I'm sure there is another one that can be Freddy. Loop Honey. Yeah. Bunny. Loop Honey. Oh, that's right. Loop Honey is Bonnie, too. Yeah. Bonnie. So, what does that make? The fifth animatronic, in a way. What? Golden uh, Freddy? Golden Freddy would be yeah. a shiny something. Sure, on the Earth Ring. Shiny Earth Ring? <laughs> yeah, that's true, that's true. Is there a shiny bear that's gold? This, I don't know. I don't know. Mm, no. Pangoro, maybe? What color is the Panchamp when it's... Panchamp is black. Yeah, Panchamp is Which, black. But when it's shiny... Uh, well, essentially, Panchamp can be one of the latest characters. Uh, here we go. Pangoro is black. chocolate. Full Shiny. black um, yeah. teddy bear that frightens everyone in the last game. Uh. Yeah. So now Pangoro could be... A shiny Pangoro could do Golden Freddy. It even looks like it's kind of wearing a tuxedo shop. And it's it's chocolate. Ah. Uh, yeah. Oh, it is brown. Okay. Mm. 
So it's, it's as close as you're going to get. Anyway, that's tangenty, okay. tangenty. More tangenty. <laughs> we, are, we are the masters of tangenty. All I right. think we've may- maybe you've managed to make the longest podcast yet. We are actually yep. five minutes off an hour. This is going to take wow. all night to upload. Because <laughs> YouTube <laughs> doesn't like me so much. Oh, wait. Uh, your internet is a bit uh, too slow. Yes, I am so jelly of you. <laughs> and your good internet. Yeah. I'm just going to go, Phil. Gonna I live in the Phil. outback of Australia. Where, I'm shrugging. You know, I'm the land shrugging. The you can't forgot. see me, but I'm shrugging. I'll, yeah. I'll do a recreation <laughs> of what Phil's doing. Oh, we could do an animation <laughs> of him. We could have done that the just, entire Just move street, the picture but... up and down. That's how That's you did it. the animation. Can you increase uh, and decrease the size of the picture? Uh, yeah. Hang on. Yeah, yeah. This is terrible looking. Can you also <laughs> play the Benny Hill music now? <laughs> there. He can be teeny tiny and down the corner now, just as punishment. Oh. Okay. <laughs> So, with that seriousness aside, uh, we should wrap up. So, thank you very yeah, much yeah. to my guests, uh, Dolphin Squared, Alice, and of course, Phil. Uh, now is the time for obligatory plugs. So, how about you go first, Dolphin? Well, um, if you do want to catch me, my channel name is Dolphin Squared, slash Dolphin2, if you can't really find me. YouTube is kind of a funny thing. But, not only that, you can also find me at Twitter, at... Dolphin Squared as well. If you can't find the one with the two black and white dolphins going in circles, well, that's not me. But if you do, that's me. <laughs> <laughs> so there you go. And uh, Alice, why don't you plug your stuff while we're at it? Uh, so my Twitter account is at Snowy Alice. Pretty easy. Um, most of my stuff, everything ends up on there, like YouTube and everything. But my YouTube account is YouTube... Uh, slash insomnia is for owls, which is really weird. But if you can't find that, just go into my Twitter. One of my latest videos should like direct you to that web to my channel. Where's my subscription? I guess I'm gonna have to look you up now. Insomnia. You should. I make high quality because content a company. once a year. Okay. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Please follow me for tweets on weird stuff. Yes. <laughs> Or Bill? adorable stuff. That too. Lots and lots of adorable stuff. And the Spurs. And the Spurs. Lots of the Spurs. Phil? You be uh, Do I have a Espo. plug? Yes. I'm on Twitter. At uh, Phil. OMG. LOL. That's it. That's it. That's, That's it. all I got. <laughs> I'm not a good <laughs> salesman. Follow you back. This is follow... why I'm not in sales. All right? Yeah. Give follow up. the PAX Pokemon League. Yeah, that's even better, right? Yeah, at Pax Pokemon, I believe, is the Twitter Direct handle. message me on the um, forums. Yes. The, <laughs> just randomly actually make direct a quick message note, me on um, the forums. Yeah, quick note as well, for those who went to Prime, or just those who want to provide a bit of feedback, the feedback form is now available. So head on over to the forums, just follow the thread, and uh, let us know what you think. Feedback forms. We love your feedback, and we want... To make the league so much better, and we can do that with uh, with your opinions. And they want to touch your faces. That Phil guy wants does. To touch that's your just face. that's just me. That's, <laughs> that's, that's not everyone. I'm gonna make you tinier. Just this little portrait. It can be tinier. tinier I'm only tinier. I'm only one of the leaders. All right. There's other leaders. You don't have to fight me. Yep. Just saying. Other leaders. Please just go up to him and go fight me. <laughs> right. You, you can do Phil. You can do the Perfect. guy who said that. If you buy me a pack of sushi for lunch, I'll give you a batch. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody ever took so me up cool. on that. Yeah, if someone had <laughs> fed me, I would have given them a yeah, badge. That you. That yeah, was, was also shift creep. Yeah, <laughs> yeah we, we were saying you could bribe us. However, yeah. this year I may have some integrity. Maybe. If Although, you give me like twenty bucks, I'll give you a badge. If you're still willing to buy a leader lunch, we will not say no. <laughs> well, I hope your integrity <laughs> is as strong as Fortress. Uh, hey <laughs> <laughs> oh dear. Don't use uncontented. fire kids. Can you just put uncontented noises underneath? <laughs> I could try that. I could try it if I can find the right spot. Yeah. Oh dear. So uh, now that Phil's been completely replaced and usurped by uh, an Esper, we should uh, turn this off. Yep.
<laughs> so, thank you for watching, everyone, and putting up with our uh, assorted hijinks. Uh, the stream is going to be taken over by plushies again. I don't have any Pokemon plushies. This is not a Pokemon. Pokemon plush it is. We'll is correct that in six we weeks' time. We can help time. you. We can help you buy some Pokemon plushies. Um, this is also not a Pokemon. <laughs> That's a turret. <laughs> that is a turret. This is also not a Pokemon. That is oh, technically that not a Pokemon. It is Pokemon it related. It is technically a Pokemon plushie, though. It is. It's a Pokemon yeah, move. It is a plushie of a move. <laughs> I, I don't even know, exact... what are you doing? <laughs> yes. Alice. But it's not Hot Skitty <laughs> Way Lord action, so let's just... Uh... There goes our PG rating. There, there it goes, it, uh, it's done. Oh, wow. <laughs> okay, I'm going to flick this logo over here so nobody has to watch all this nonsense anymore. <laughs> Thank you for coming, everyone. We'll just see you next time. On that note. <laughs>